Protein drink mix and personalized protein powder. What are the differences? Let's take a look at the key differences between these two products in today's video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Jean here from Authentic Energy. All right, I know all of you guys have been waiting for this video for a long time, and here it is. And I know that it's very important to actually address the differences because, um, you know, many of you are very confused about, you know, how to use them, and also, you know, for your weight loss programs or for your muscle gain programs, you know, like which product is better. Uh, most of you are concerned about the weight loss, so you know, I'll be addressing mostly, um, you know, weight loss related sort of like usage in today's video but you know let me know in the comment below if you're currently using either ppp our personalized protein powder or pdm just write pdm or ppp uh, protein drink mix in the comment below okay and if you want to know more ways to use them also let me know all right okay so for those of you that are not familiar with the code name like the abbreviation of our famous like herbalized signature um, protein products protein drink mix is also known as pdm and personalized protein powder is also known as ppp which is you know our nickname for this you know beautiful uh, herbalife uh, protein drink right and if you want to just kind of like remember the key differences between the two protein drinks right so remember pdm as a you know high protein snack because you can actually make a uh, high protein shake just by mixing the pdm pdm powder with water okay so you can drink it as a standalone shake as a protein shake or you can add it to your f1 shake okay so um i have addressed this in one of my previous videos you can check it out here if you haven't already where you know i compare pdm versus our f1 shake and also i have emphasized that the um, PDM is a great enhancer for our F1 shake. It's also a great companion because the PDM can actually um, enhance the nutrients in our F1 shake. Okay, I'm gonna talk a bit more about it in a second. And on the other side, we have our PPP. PPP is a good protein supplement. Okay, so uh, PPP doesn't have any flavors. It doesn't have anything else added to it. It's just pure protein powder. So it's a great, you know, um, protein addition to your shakes. Or, you know, if you're cooking, you want to add more protein to it. It can also be used like that, you know, very flexibly. Okay, so at a glance, PDM can be used as a protein shake or it can be added to your F1 shake. And PPP is best used as, you know, a uh, protein addition, as a protein addition added to your shakes and your products. Okay, so um, when it comes to like the best usage, right? Both PDM and PPP are great for both like weight loss and weight gain. Okay, so it really comes down to like the meal plan. Um, you know how your coach designs your meal plan and also how you use them and how much you know how much protein is involved in your day to day you know protein intake, right? So obviously the calculation for weight loss versus like weight uh, weight gain. You know the protein intake is different right so it really comes down to your meal plan and also your protein your macro ca calculation right and um i also put down the um the basic numbers here which is basically the volume okay the volume of each um you know because when it comes to comparing the two products you may notice that ppp personalized protein powder is a lot smaller which is it's almost like half of the protein drink mix size so you're looking at 360 grams um per you know canister so that kind of like is roughly translated to 24 teaspoons, I mean, tablespoons. And whereas PDM, you know, you get over 600 grams in a big canister and that gives you 30 servings. So it's, you know, enough for one month if you're taking it one serving a day, right? So you can see the big comparison here, like the big difference here. Um, I actually still don't know till this day why Herbalife makes PPP so small, <laughs> okay? It would be great to make it bigger, right? Okay, now more differences. Let's compare the nutrient profile between the two products. Okay, if we're just looking at calories per serving, uh, PP PDM offers 110 calories and whereas like uh, PPP offers 20 calories so it's extremely low okay uh, you will see in a second why it's extremely low when it comes to calories and when it comes to the protein the protein profile um, PDM is purely soy protein okay and whereas PPP is um, basically made from a blend of soy and whey protein so a bit of dairy and a bit of plant-based right so for those of you that are you know absolutely 
you know allergic to any kind of dairy protein then you know ppp is probably not for you you can go and choose your pdm okay and when it comes to um our protein our protein intake per serving right you get 15 grams of protein per serving with pdm so and uh, with ppp you get five grams okay five grams per tablespoon okay so i know this part is a little bit confusing right so um if you look at the um the gram size so i just i actually put it down in the gram size just to kind of like give you guys a bit of a clearer picture each tablespoon gives you about 15 grams okay whereas like on the left side um the pdm right each serving gives you 28 grams okay so that's almost almost okay almost equivalent to like two two tablespoons okay so if if you want to kind of like do the side by side comparison you want to double up five grams so you get about close to like 10 to 11 grams of protein um for the same volume that you get with pdm but with pdm you get 15 grams of protein so pdm definitely offers higher okay higher volume of um, protein in this case Okay, so a little bit more um, on the nutrient profile. So PDM actually gives you about 3.5 grams of fat, whereas PPP, no fat. Okay, sugar, it has a little bit of sugar, tiny bit, but it's less than one gram. Okay, whereas PPP, no sugar. Okay, zero. And um, the good thing about protein drink mix is that it actually has added vitamins and minerals. So about 20 plus types of vitamins and minerals. So that's actually very awesome. A lot of people ask me, is it good? Is it bad for weight loss? But it's actually great for both weight loss and weight gain when you have added nutrients. Whereas with um, PPP, it does not have any added nutrients. It's just protein okay so i have put like you know my personal sort of like uh, opinion my personal opinion on it by giving the stickers on like the good points so you know like for uh ppp it has zero fat zero sugar also zero flavor which is a good thing when it comes to you know like you want it to be um a good choice of protein right which also means that it's very versatile you can because it doesn't have any fat and sugar you can add it to a lot of your bakings or soup and cooking and whereas like pdm offers you know 20 plus types of uh, vitamins and minerals which is a plus because i always like you know uh, products that are loaded with nutrients okay now furthermore okay for weight loss okay so each of these products actually have its own uh, advantage and specialty and i actually i can't really tell you which one's better to be honest that's just my personal you know take on this so that's why i have listed you know like the you know the benefits of each product and it's up to you to kind of like you know make a decision which one's better for you but i know that for a lot of countries you guys don't have pdm so obviously you know the go-to is the ppp right which is which makes things easy for you guys but if you have two choices then you can kind of like decide which one is better for you right now so if we're looking at pdm you know pdm does have you know a lot of added additional nutrients right which are great for enhancing your f1 shakes and also the added nutrients can also keep you you know feeling full for a lot longer so you don't feel hungry and also you know in a way that prevents you from overeating so if you're someone that's always having the cravings and you're always feeling hungry i'll say you know pdm is the better option for you and you know if you are you know like including a lot of different uh, protein balance snacks in your uh, program in your diet plan then you know pdm is also a good option it's a good you know um, standalone high protein snack option as well right you, sim you simply just mix it with water or some kind of like you know um, plant-based milk or milk right depending on how you want to make it but you know simply with water is already enough you get 15 grams of protein so you know like pdm itself is a great you know protein snack already uh, apart from you know being the protein addition to your f1 shake Okay, so uh, whereas on the right hand side, you see that PPP is a great, you know, um, protein product for your weight loss program because it is very low in calorie, right? And uh, when you add um, PPP to your shakes, right, it does add, you know, the extra protein to your shakes without adding any extra calories because it doesn't contain anything else 
right? So that's the advantage of it. So especially if you're looking at like, you know, uh, a calorie deficit diet, or if you are really strict on your calorie counting, I don't recommend people to be obsessed over <laughs> calorie counting. But, you know, obviously, when you're, you know, trying to lose weight, you have to be aware of, you know, the calories intake, right? So, um, you know, obviously, the better options are, you know, low uh, calorie, low calorie food, but high nutrient. So in this case, PPP is really a good, you know, choice here. And also it has no flavor. It really has no flavor. So if you're someone that prefers your shakes to be less sweet, right, then I would actually suggest you to add PPP to it, right? Because PDM does have different flavors and it has a bit of a sweet taste. So, um, you know, you can kind of see the difference here. Um, and because it has no flavor, so you can easily add PPP to even your muffins. And if you want to make pancakes, if you want to make, um, you know, you name it, soup, right? Um, I have made many recipe videos with that before. You can check it out, okay, from, you know, my playlist. Okay, best usage of the two products, okay? So with PDM, you can just simply mix it with water, shake it, drink it. You can have it after workout or, you know, uh, any time of the day if you feel like you need a quick, you know, protein pick-me-up. You can also mix it with milk or any type of, like, you know, plant-based milk. Um, and the best usage we always recommend people is to add it to your F1 shakes, okay? Which is why PDM is included in your breakfast set, okay? You have to have it because that's when you get the best result, okay? If you don't have it, if you don't have PDM available in your country, that's okay. Go for PPP, okay? And uh, PDM is available in vanilla flavor, chocolate, and peanut cookie. I never tried it. That's only available in the U.S. So let me know in the comment below if you have tried peanut cookie flavor PDM, okay? I'm very curious about this flavor. And with PPP, Obviously, you can add it to your shakes. You can also add to food, different types of beverages, soup or baking. It has no flavor, as I mentioned before. So that has a huge advantage. Okay, so here are the key differences between our PPP and also our PDM, right? So let me know in the comment below if you have learned something from today's video or if I haven't covered anything that you want to know, right? And if you still have questions about these two products, just write them in the comment below. Um, personally, I love them both. That's why I have them both in my pantry, right? So it really depends on, you know, what I, you know, what I'm in the mood for for the day and I pick, you know, the protein for me. And also it really depends on the usage. Um, if I'm in the mood for cooking, if I'm in the mood for less sweet shakes, I go for my PPP. If I'm in the mood for just like a quick, you know, nutrient loaded shake and I go for my, my PDM right here. Yeah, so vanilla flavor, that's always my favorite one. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys are interested to work with me directly, have me as your Herbalife coach or join my, you know, coaching program, you can find out all the details in the comment below. And some of you guys might be interested to, pro uh, to purchase the products. I also have the direct purchase link in the comment below. If you're not from the US or Canada, um, you can definitely email me directly and I'll send you the details of how you can get the products. Okay, so thank you so much for watching guys. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!